channel. On our previous episode, we already set up the gravity drip irrigation of our bell peppers. And I am very happy that the feedback is very positive. Okay, so it is very cheap, very economically, everyone can afford this setup. Lots of viewers who can relate this and eventually they will try this at home. So I hope you will follow from episode 1 to episode 2 and up to episode 4, episode 5 wherein we will be able to harvest our red jet pepper, bell peppers. discuss to you what are the basic materials which I use in this irrigation system. This is a drip irrigation system where in traditionally there are lots of people, lot of farmers use this one. Well of course this is a well-known system in hydroponics or in traditional farming. Wherein there are lots of farmers there out there who use this one. Well uh, the materials are very uh, very, uh, very affordable and very uh, easy to find but there are lots of uh, alternative materials that you can use uh, whether you find it the materials around your home. five materials simple materials that I use in this setup number one is the planting media I use coco peat yes because this is very affordable in the Philippines and all over the country and also it is well known in Asian countries like Southeast Asia Thailand Singapore Malaysia and so on and so forth so this is very affordable this is very organic and you can use this um, anytime as long as you want them or want it to use you can use the coco peat well most of you guys are no, have noticed that the color of this coco peat is already red but I uh, stuck this for two months or three months ago and before I using it I put uh, some disinfectant and we pour boiling water so that the bacteria will be dead Number two materials is the polyethylene seedling bag. Well, of course, um, I use secondhand polyethylene bag because I want this to have a simple, very affordable setup as the objective does. Now, I go to plant store near us and uh, mostly ask the farmer there or the owner there of plant store that if there is a secondhand uh, planting media like polyethylene seedling bag that size of 7x7x15 seven by seven by well I get lucky because there are lots of uh, them available because they set up a huge uh, garden set up at home or uh, at the building near us so I immediately um, buy or bought those 30 pieces of seedling polyethylene bag so it is very affordable because the guy give this uh, seedling as 10 pesos as low as 10 pesos so immediately that is the best deal I, I ever had <laughs> hose this irrigation hose size 4 mm so I bought it at silver greenhouse where my friend uh, also uh, suggested that this will be the uh, material that is very suitable for this setup for irrigation 
and then this hose is color black you cannot immediately or the algae cannot immediately penetrate inside the hose so there is no trouble or you are uh, very uh, confident that there is no leak or there is no clogging inside the irrigation hose well traditionally irrigation hose is very uh, affordable but you can have uh, ordinary hose or ordinary PVC as long as you can have uh, water flow and uh, the exit of the water is uh, controlled number four is the hook okay it is attached with the irrigation hose wherein the hook will secure the irrigation hose so that it will not move every time you allow the water to come out okay every time you on you turn it on the ball valve and that's the time you are much secure okay you are uh, safe your plants will be safe okay the hose will not damage your plant every time you allow the water to come out so the hook is very important so that it will be then the plant will be secure it will stand still and it will be supported with the tomato ring so if you have no idea about tomato ring just uh, make sure you have to uh, make alternatives on this as well as the polyethylene bag you can have this online for as much as affordable or as low as 100 pesos 200 pesos you can have this online now these materials are very simple and very affordable but there are lots of alternative materials we're in you can find at home so i hope i am helping you guys to manage or to set up this irrigation system and hopefully um, we will grow it together there you have it guys i hope you learn a lot from this episode and next episode will be how we will uh, manage and how to sustain or how to choose the right fruit of this setup so we're in we will choose whether of the uh, flower is healthy or not so we will remove everything and we will try to maintain two uh, stems or two twigs and we will eliminate those excess ones so that we will be able to produce a large bell pepper of rich one